Does SpongeBob have square notes? Probably. Are there some underrated non-mastery camos in this game? Also probably. Let's take a look at them. The first camo I wanted to take a look at today is for the HCR56, and that is the sunset camo. I really like this camo. It is pretty scratched up, which isn't the greatest, but uh, this is pretty unique compared to a lot of the other camos in this game, and I want to get this unlocked. And to do that, we're going to need to get 10 double kills with our HCR56. The next camo I want to take a look at is the autumn return here for the EBR14. Now, this is debatable whether or not it's underrated because this was like the OG mastery camo for Modern Warfare 2, like the OG Modern Warfare 2. But I think it looks pretty nice and we just have to get 20 mounted kills with the ebr 14 and i think we can knock that out and for the third and final camo we're gonna be taking a look at today is the omni hex camo for the vetsnev 9k this is basically just another dark aether type beat camo but i like it it's purple it's a little scratched up it's fine a lot of these camos are pretty scratched so we just have to kind of deal with it but we only need 15 hip fire kills with it so that's not too bad and really quick the builds we're gonna be working with today here is my hcr 56 build uh again i am not the greatest at building weapons so this is probably awful but we're gonna see how this works this is my ebr 14 build uh, i don't have a max level so i don't have any tuning on this one or on the hcr but i do have some on my vetsnev or whatever you want to call it i'm not the greatest at pronouncing weapons or building them but this is my build for the vetsnev uh here's my tuning on my barrel really quick i have this tuned for like damage range and re damage range and recoil i don't have my speaking tuned yet i don't have that leveled up far enough but uh here's my under barrel uh tuning i got it all for hip fire because we do need hip fire kills for this challenge and nothing else is tuned and this is the class that I'm using for all my weapons. The only thing I have different is for the EBR class. I have a deployable cover just in case I can't get to a mounting spot. I can just go ahead and mount on that cover. But that's enough setup. Let's go ahead, hop in and start knocking these camos out. All right, first thing I'm gonna be trying to knock out is the double kill challenge here for the HCR. I feel like this is our hardest challenge we got. So I wanna get it done first. That's one, anyone else nearby? Mm, maybe, that's a double kill. All right, cool. Really didn't think we we're gonna get one that fast, but just nine more. Oh, come on. There we go. That's another one. I was not expecting to get camo progress that quick, but uh, now that we got that under our belt, uh, season one, uh, it's been out for a few days now, so we can finally like give uh, more of a review on it. And I have gone through and I have played Warzone now. Uh, I, I got into a few games. They're pretty fun. I think the proc chat is like a great addition, not only to Warzone, but to DMZ. Uh, just the interactions you have with people are hilarious. Like everyone's always like talking shit to each other. It's just a good time. And there, there are people that just kind of like abuse it where they're just screaming whatever at you, just trying to be edgy, trying to be funny. But uh, you, I feel like you get the polar opposite of that or at least both sides of that in DMZ more. Because from what I've seen in DMZ, people are either really nice or they won't speak at all and just like team wipe you. So I've ran into some people that are like working on like challenges or something or that have actually like let me or my friends exfil with them just because they already got all their stuff and there's no need to kill each other. Or you just run into people not talking at all, pulling up all in vehicles and just like wiping you as you're trying to exfil. But uh, out of the two modes, I've been really enjoying DMZ a lot. I, I was finding myself like itching to go play it, which is weird because I'm not like too big into the Tarkov type mode, but like there, there's something about this where it, it just feels fun to hop in there and try to do stuff. I, I wish there was a little more risk reward to it. I, I, I feel like you can lose your stuff and not really be that like pressed about it. Because, like, you can always just wait two hours and get your insured weapon or just hopping in with a throwing knife is pretty fun to do, too. Like, just going in with nothing and try to come out, like, fully kitted. Oh, that's another double kill, baby. But overall, I think it's a move that can improve a lot and just become, like, a, a pretty big mode for the game. And I was talking with my friends about it, and we, we kind of feel the same way about how it's almost kind of like how Outbreak was in Cold War, where when it launched, it didn't really have anything too crazy, but, like you can kind of see where it can go. And w with Outbreak and with DMZ, there's people that love it and people that just like can't stand it or just will, like would rather die than play it. Like it seems like a, a pretty polarizing like mode. And I think with time, it, it can become like really, really good. I, I just hope they don't quit on it if they see like a low player base for it to start. I feel like it, it can only go up. They just need to add like a bit more to it. Cause once people start like getting all the missions done and like they've been to the same places and fought the same bosses all the time, it's gonna get pretty stale. So if they can add something to it, maybe make make like uh, some like special blueprints or more operator skins that are exclusive for doing things in that mode. I think that, that would make it a lot more fun. Cause I did see some people that were pissed where the only way to unlock the M13 without like buying a bundle for it was exfilling with the, the chemist M13 in DMZ. I personally thought it was pretty cool, but I understand if like you don't like the mode and they're kind of forcing you to play it, like you got to, to be able to use this new gun. Uh, there should definitely be some alternate challenges for it. 
But I think the stuff that you unlock for DMZ should mostly just be like cosmetic. Like you should be able to get some cool weapon skins, some cool operator skins, calling cards, emblems, all that stuff. And not just like the only way to unlock weapons. But speaking of unlocking weapons, if there is any weapons that you don't have unlocked and you find them in DMZ and you exfil with them, then you unlock those weapons. At least that's what I've been told. I, I've seen some people hop in, grab a weapon that they don't have unlocked yet and exfil with it. And now they can just use that weapon in any mode, like multiplayer, war zone, whatever. So that's pretty cool. It's got that going for it. I don't know if like you'll be able to drop a weapon for your friends that they don't have unlocked and have them exfil with it. Besides that M13 that you had to do with the chemist. But I definitely think the mode has potential and it can it can go somewhere. And going back to like the new stuff that's been added to season one, the new weapons have all been pretty decent. The M13 is not bad at all. Pretty fun gun to use. That SMG wasn't bad either. And the new sniper is just perfect. I feel like the snipers are really good in this game. Not in terms of like they're stupid OP, but they're in a good spot to where like they don't feel bad to use and they're like not slow. Like you're not just getting nothing but hit markers with them. And it's not taking forever to aim down sights. It's not like taking three to five business days to actually see what you're shooting at. Like, I, I like a lot of the gunplay in this game. And the new weapons they added in are perfect. And they did add in some new camos, which is great. I'm really excited to see them add in more and more camos every time, like, a gun is added in. I just hope they don't add in more duds. Uh, there were good camos for the new guns. I'm not saying there wasn't. But, like, a lot of the leading up camos just feel like fillers. They just feel like... There's so many ways to have like a desert camo or some sort of just normal camouflage. And we already have so many of those in the game. I wish we would see more and more unique looking camos being added with these weapons. I want to see them go crazy. Maybe even like throwbacks to other games because we have seen like similar things like that. You know, with uh, the, the autumn return that we're going to be working on. Like, I think it would be sick if they brought in, like, some sort of Damascus. Or even, like, throwing in more mastery camos. Like, a, an obsidian-type camo. Oh, and how could I forget? Shoot House. The, the map we're actually playing on. I think this is a great addition. I, I would have loved to see Shoe House and Shipment drop at the same time. I think it's, you know, all right that they drop them separately. Because, like, if, if you're playing Shoot the Ship, you really only just want, sh like, Shipment unless you're working on, like, mounted kills or long shots. So that way, you know, Shoe House can get his time in the, in the sun. But I really like this. I like how they, they redid it. It's basically the same exact layout, just with like a facelift. They just they just put a new coat of paint on it, basically. And Shoe House, one of my favorite maps that they've uh, added into COD. Like as of as of late, it's like since Marvel for 2019, this is probably my favorite map that they put in. And I'm glad that it's back. Oh, there goes the game. We had 50 kills, though. That's not bad at all. I think we might be just like a few double kills off, though, from our challenge. How close are we to this camo? Oh, yeah, we just need three more. That's not bad at all. We'll take that. All I need is three more double kills. Who's going to give it to me? There's one. Oh, they immediately did. They got to be listening. Peek it. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Oh, they did. I, lo I looked at my mini map the second they peeked. That's okay. We're right back in it. Anyone else? No? All right, cool. All right, this is the perfect opportunity for a double kill. There's one. There's two, baby. Let's go. We just need one more double kill. That's one. Please, somebody else peek. Oh, right here. Oh, that's two, baby. Show me the camo. Go ahead. Yeah. Time to switch to our EBR. We're going to get our mounted kills out of the way, and then we just go crazy with our SMG for the rest of the, the video. I wonder how well the classic spot of just going up here and mounting works. Does anybody want to go ahead and peek me? Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, but not for long. There we go. Just 19 more of those. Actually, going back to, uh, you know, me talking about Shoe House, one of the goaded mounting spots used to be up here using a deployable cover, and now you can't get up there. So now you maybe you can just go right here. Does this work better? There's a guy behind me. I'm just trying to test stuff out, dude. No, this don't work that great, but the option's there. Oh, yeah. Also, when I was showing the, the weapon class for my EBR, I forgot to mention, I have incendiary bolts on here for no reason other than it's just, it kind of looks fun to do. I don't even know if these things are good, but it looks like it's killing pretty quick. I just want to be a nuisance. And it looks like it's working because we're on a bloodthirsty, which is kind of crazy for me. I don't do nothing but die. You guys have probably noticed in the last few videos, like every single time I start talking, it's just a cut of me just falling over in the game. As well as editing the video and I was just watching like right here, it seemed like every video clip I had, like from the moment of where I was speaking was just me falling over dying. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'll show you my KD after this. I don't think it's good at all. I think I have a one. Like I barely have, I have barely have more kills than I have deaths in this game, which is kind of wild. Normally I have a pretty, I, I would, I'd say respectable 1.2 KD, 
this game it has not been anywhere near that but i've still been having like a lot of fun though like i really don't care how much i die as long as i'm getting like camo progress that's the one thing that's important to me but i won't lie if my kd was under one I i'd feel a little embarrassed about it as long as I keep it at one and above, I'm fine. That that's that's my bar for for KD. I know a lot of people get really pressed about it and like won't even let like anyone else play on their account or do anything. They won't even use certain guns if they think it'll mess up their KD. For me, as long as I have just one more kill than I have death, I'm in the positive, baby. This guy just got a mega kill. What the fuck? I have not even seen an enemy in the last like minute and a half. Oh, there we go. Finally saw somebody. Wasn't a mounted kill, though. At this point, I won't be surprised if I just see our teammates drop a nuke. Just let me get a few mounted kills before you do that. There we go. Finally. Oh, no! The COD timing is crazy. The second I will just unmount, somebody peeks me. There really needs to be, like, a, a study at some university about COD timing, because it is crazy. Oh, I didn't even put our new camo on here. We did get six mounted kills out of the 20. We did not progress very far. But let's go ahead and throw on our sunset camo. That looks so nice. Let's take a little peek at the sunset camo. Ooh! That's actually a lot nicer in the hands. Way better than it looks in the gunsmith. There actually isn't anything on one side of the weapon. Hold on. We look at it from this side. Roll it over and it's default. <laughs> That's a weird choice. There we go. Please keep peeking over here. Keep them coming. Yeah. Aw. Oh. That guy just spawned right in front of me after I killed him. Crazy spawns in this game. These mounted kills have been awful. It's just so slow and boring we gotta be like close to done now please i've been doing nothing but just mounting on random shit trying to get these kills is that it please let's go all right we can finally do something fun now we just need 15 hip fire kills i'm pretty sure it's just 15 that uh should be pretty easy i'm not gonna lie right, let's get number one right here easy done and a point blank for good measure Ooh, this thing got a little bit of range, too. Did somebody say some more hip fire kills? All right. Don't got to tell me twice. All right, maybe we'll just get one. Maybe we'll just get one right there. Could have been a few, though. Oh, get out of that window, bitch. Damn, you got shitted on. I had to come all the way up here to teabag you. This thing ain't bad with hip fire. I think this is a pretty decent build for it. Or at least a specific challenge. Like, if you really don't like aiming down sights, this might be your thing. Ooh. Oh, if I would have hit that that throwing knife. I almost called it a tomahawk. Damn. That would have been a crazy play. Oh, that's it. We got it done. That was fast. And that was pretty fun. I, I actually really like this SMG. It's been pretty good so far from what I've used it. And we only have 48 seconds left in this hard point game. Well, 48 hard point seconds. Let's just try to throwing knife the rest of the way. Oh, well, I guess we only got that one throwing knife. Unless we can get one right here as the game's ending. No, I don't think so. Rip, dude. 40 kills, though. Hey, we've been having some high kill games. And as promised, here are my stats. Oh, I have a 1.01 KD now. Yeah, just barely more kills than deaths. That's so crazy. My win-loss is not very good, though, but I don't really care about winning. High streak, though. 17, highest kills in a game, 65. But let's go ahead, hop in game, and look at our camos. All right, let's start this off by looking at our EBR-14 here with our autumn return camo. That this looks pretty nice. This is probably one of the only camo-looking weapons, like actual camouflages that I'd probably throw on a weapon. Definitely not my, my favorite, but I think it does look pretty cool. And this is what it looks like on the X-12 real quick. I, I like showing it off on the secondaries, on the pistols. I think the Glock looks really good when it has a camo just on the slide. And this is de this is decent, you know? It would definitely pair well with the EBR. This is our ominous hex camo. I think this looks actually really good. You know, minus the scratches. It is very unfortunate that a lot of these guns just have like a significant amount of scratches on it. It kind of almost ruins the camo on some of them, but this one's fine. I feel like they don't show a whole lot on it unless you're really looking for them. But this camo looks sick. It, it is very reminiscent of Dark Aether. That's that's two camos in the past two camo videos we've done that have looked like Dark Aether. But this is a, a pretty nice camo. Let's check it out on the Glock. Ooh, this one doesn't just go on the slide. It goes down to the, the whole handle and everything. It gets a nice like purplish color purple pink and then the slide is what gets all the the extra detail i think this looks pretty good and for our last camo this is the one i was the most excited about for our hcr 56 the sunset camo this looks really good i wish it was on both sides of the gun uh, i do appreciate that it is on the side of the gun that you see the most but 
It is a little, like, unfortunate to turn it over on the other side and it's just default like that. That is definitely a big downside of the camo, but when you see it, it looks great. I wonder if it's the same thing on the Glock, too. Oh, it looks like it. Just having it out like that, it looks half and half. You inspect it, though. It's like a different color every angle you look at it, which is, I, I guess that's pretty unique. That's pretty cool. I wish it covered both sides though. But there you have it. There are my three underrated camos for the day. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. If you're new here, subscribe. Uh, if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, links to all my socials and everything down in the description below. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.